What's up everyone, Mark Lobliner. TigerFitness.com, I'm just going through emails and I figured my camera's here, I might as well answer this. I'm not gonna mention this came from, hey Mark, I know you probably get hundreds of questions a day, but I have a legit question, I greatly appreciate it. Okay, so I took a Anavar only cycle at 18. Anavar is a very um, mild drug and it's actually, it was formulated for use in women and children, but again, it's a steroid and it'll still have suppressive effects. And I didn't really get much, if any, gains on it at all because you're stupid. I had Clomid on hand, but after my cycle in my eyes, I didn't feel any difference, didn't see a point of taking it. Weeks later, my libido dropped for sure. As an 18 year old, I would literally get boners from looking at picture of asses. And after, the, and after VAR, I had to be extremely turned on. The question now, I've been off for around three months. I was wondering if it would be dumb now to click, take Clomid. Like it's too late, or do you think it would help me get back to normal? My libido was starting to come back, and I don't, and I, but still it wasn't where it was at. Um, I don't know what's wrong with you fucking kids today. I, I really don't. I, I'm fucking serious. All right, I'm wearing a half natty shirt. Isn't that fucking great for this question? You know, the pro hormones really fucked it up for everybody, you know, because people expect these huge fucking gains. And uh, at 18 years old, you really have no need to take shit. I mean, you don't need to take anything. Your hormones are great, and honestly, from my point of view, you have not paid your fucking dues. You have not built that base. You don't know what it's like to train and diet. If you can't train and diet correctly without the use of androgens, then you can't fucking, you know, get the most out of androgens. If you look at the people who are successful with androgen use, it's the people who train hard and dieted and train naturally, and then threw that variable in there, threw that little fucking kickstart in there, and there they go. They have some great gains. So my whole thing with you is, first of all, you're looking beside, you're looking after the fact. And I'd hate to give this answer, but your shit will most likely come back. It will. It might take six months, it might take a year, and you say it's already starting to come back. I'm not gonna advise you to take Clomid right now. I, I don't think it'll do fucking much. And I think it's just throwing another thing in your body. If you wanna stay natural, which I think you should for a couple more years, and learn how to fucking train and don't look for a shortcut, and actually learn how to train like a fucking man. You're fucking 18. Train like a fucking man and diet like a fucking champ first before jumping on the shit. And even then, I need you to really, 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 really focus and look yourself in the eye and say, am I really ready for this step in this commitment to my fucking physique, to bodybuilding, to whatever? I mean, you really need to look at that. And also, Anavar only cycle. If you're doing an Anavar only cycle, you have no fucking business doing fucking steroids in the first place because you're a fucking moron for doing an Anavar only cycle. If you're gonna do anything as a first cycle, I always thought the best first cycle was 500 milligrams of test a week. That's it. That's it. If you can't fucking gain on that, you're fucking retarded. I mean, you know, if that's your first cycle, why fucking throw everything? I already Boston Lloyd. I mean, shit. You know, so that would be my, my advice is first of all, you have no business doing it. And if you, here's the thing, I'm gonna go fucking straight legal on you, even though this is the answer I'm gonna get. If you still do not see improvements at the six month mark or, or sh even shorter, go see an endocrinologist. Obviously you might wanna start with your GP because they'll give you a referral depending if you have an HMO or PPO if you're located in the United States. Um, go see your doctor and see if there's something they do. Um, see if there's something they'd advise and be honest with them and say you're a fucking idiot who did Anavar only for a cycle. Ah, that's it guys. I, I, I really, you know what, it, it, it kind of gets to me because everybody's looking for the shortcut, for the easy way out. And, and I'm not against androgen use, obviously. I'm a fucking pro bodybuilder, okay? I'm not fucking against androgen use. I'm against the wrong people using them and doing stupid shit with them. And this is doing stupid shit and your balls are drew just fine at 18 years old, man. At 18 years old, I don't even know how the fuck you take steroids. I thought you could accidentally like, get it from chicken or something. Dead serious. Now these kids are fucking taking Anavar because I'm afraid of needles and these are less hardcore. Let me tell you this, Anavar is a mild drug, but people who take orals realize it's much more harsh than pretty much any injectable, even trend if you go D-ball because you're going through that liver twice. I mean, I just don't understand this whole thing. If you're fucking afraid of needles, maybe steroids aren't for you, dumbass. I'm Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. I don't know if this is gonna get a lot of dislikes or likes, but not giving a fuck. I'm just gonna tell That's you not guys. a game. It's not a game. Oh, that's what's up. <laughs> <laughs>